Hello, my name is Rajit Talesra and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll explain you about a new jam called uh, Device Pond Password Jam. And before I explain you this, you should know what device is. You should have integrated it in some project. You should have a basic understanding of how device works and its authentication. That's one. Now, before we integrate this particular jam, I'll show you the demo of my current structure basically. Okay. So this is a project in which I have already integrated uh, this uh, device and I haven't done anything special. It's just sign up and sign in those kind of things and the views are there. Okay. So let's go. We can see. Okay. Let's go to user slash sign in. And there is a user called test one and the password is one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember this one, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's log in. And we can see we were able to successfully log in. Now let's see at this jam. Okay. So the advantage of this jam is that all the passwords which have been hacked at some point in the history for which this particular website, which is have I been pawned, uh, this particular website, if it has the, the track record for those passwords, we won't be allowed to set that password. Okay. Let me show it to you. For example, if I go to this particular website and write that same password, one, two, three, four, five, six, bond, and we'll see. This password has previously appeared in the data breach and should never be used. Okay. So basically, they have clearly mentioned that this is not a safe password. Okay. So now let's, so what it means is that if we'll use this particular gem, it will also give us this error, right? So let's try to use this. Let's go to its home page documentation and see which one works. Okay, let's go here. Device extension, okay, okay. Data set, okay. Checks for compromised. There are two different ways and places, okay. As a standard model validation using font, this prevents users from being created with compromised password, okay. Optionally, wherein user sign in, signs in check if your password, current password is compromised and shows a warning. Okay, so there are two ways in which it helps. Uh, for a current for a sign up user it will show this warning at the same time uh, during sign in also it can show that error. okay great based on this particular device jam okay i don't know about this jam that's fine okay no payment authentication okay. add this model to your existing device model okay so we just have to add this okay are you sure let me let me check this. Okay, first we'll have to add this gem. So let's go to our gem file and below device, I like this font password. Rails, no, not rails, bundle install. Great, we can see it was fast enough. Great, clear, rails, s, start the server. Now what the mess saying, usage, okay. Recoverable with this, go to, go to your admin user, but we don't have an admin user, we have a user model, okay. So it depends upon what device model you have created. In that I have this database, authenticable, recoverable, rememberable, trackable, validatable. Okay, some of these are not there, but I, it's fine. I just want to add this. Great. Uh, users will receive the following error. Great. So let's try this out. Let's see. Log out. Test one at the rate gmail.com. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. In this case, it was not showing any. So let's try to do sign up 3000 slash user slash sign up. Let's sign up for new user test two at the rate gmail.com one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now we can see password has previously appeared in data breach and should never be used. Please choose something harder to guess. Great. So you got the idea what this is about and we have done it right uh minimum password matches okay minimum number of times a pawn password must exist in the data set okay so you can keep a track also so 
one two three four five six for example it would have been matched like ten thousand times it would have been found in data breach and there can be another password for example uh, xyz at the rate seven three eight two five that password might have been visible for five times only so we can set a limit whether we want to show this whether we want to show the error that this is something that we have found in data breach on what minimum occurrence okay so if that particular password which user is trying to set has been visible at least 10 times in data breach then only we will show the error otherwise not okay by default responses for the this, this, this timeout five second reduce potential latency otherwise you can okay latency related thing open and read you can set this it's not a big deal after sign in path for okay so you can modify your application controller to show these errors based on whatever you want right for example right now we showed it at the top you can decide in which way you want to show those errors for active admin we are not using active admin so don't need to worry about that you can configure it and set it false also even if you have the jam you can disable it this is the custom message but if you want to override this message go to config add a locals uh, config <coughs> locals this and inside this inside sessions you can set this okay customize the warning threshold you can go through this in more detail actually uh, but you got the basic idea that this is something which is really important and i would suggest that if you are creating any production ready application just add this gem if you are adding device add device spawn password also that's it that's it for this video do let me know if, you, if this was new for you uh, so that i can get the feedback whether i'm going in that right direction or not if this was new to you do let me know in comments and thanks for watching bye bye